Hi, we've um, just tuned our system here and we've made it uh, like an hibiscus. So it's now tuned all over, row feet into Arch, uh, Savvy icons, Numix icons, it's all hibiscus. And now I want to share it to you guys, so um, how to share your personal configuration with others. I think the best way to do it is to share it on GitHub. So I'm gonna continue my tutorial and move to GitHub. First up, of course, you make yourself an account on there. And then when you log in, you have this personal GitHub. I have two, so I'm gonna use my personal one. I'm gonna give it a name. So we have logged in, we have an account, and then you say new repository. I'm gonna need to call it consistently the same. And other people should know that it's actually created for Arch Labs, so that's first Arch Labs, and then complete theming project, yeah, like so, and then the name. Then everybody knows, okay, this is thing something we can launch, copy paste, and we have the same look on our system. Description if you want to. Um, Google Plus is gathering all of the complete theming projects. So we are, we have the special category on there, and that's it. Done. Then I'm going to copy paste this. This is copied. We go to our own folder. I have a structure in my head and the structure is as follows. All the things on Arch Labs on GitHub are here. Just a moment. Okay, let's continue. So we have this Arch Labs folder, which is all the GitHub from Arch Labs. Data folder, which is all my personal ones. And we are going to go in here, right mouse click, open the terminal here. You know, use your shortcuts, they are there for you to help you, so I'm going to divide it or tile it over the two, 50-50 uh, let's say. And then, um, git clone, we're going to get everything that's online, and we're going to get it to our system. Like so. And it says, you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Sure I have. Now go get one of my other uh, uh, GitHubs, like for instance the Arch Labs Nemesis, and then you get one thing, README, Setup is another one, and last one, this one. You get these three, and you copy paste them to the one we've just created, this one, the long one, Arch Labs Complete Theming Project. It's too long, maybe I should call it CTP. Anyway, it's clear for people what it is. And we're gonna put it in here. If you never set up GitHub before, and so it's a clean installation, I run this one. It just runs it once. Do change it because it says your name's Eric Dubois, and then you have an email like so. So that's not the case. So do change that, and then you're good to go. You can run it. That's only for the first time you set up GitHub. So everything is set up. I will run this one, Git version one. And actually, we can delete all the, uh, these lines. These were safety line that I wasn't gonna put my Linux kernel online. So this is not gonna happen in this GitHub. Although all the rest is just fine. Okay. And we can already use it. We're gonna use it. Write your commit comment. This is my first commit. There you go. And then we go to the website again, and the website is here. We refresh, and we have here this README, get in, and this README, whatever is in here, is shown here. As you can see, I have not created that. That's the README. So the README should be changed, this one. All of this is wrong, completely wrong. So Arch Labs complete theming project 
helices. And then the la di da di da di stuff. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna make an article on everyone. Go check there. Safe. And each time you change something, you should update it. If you computer crashes or breaks down and it's not on there, oops, wrong script, what is it doing? So if um, it crashes and you did not push it back to GitHub, then it's gone. So README has been updated. Bye bye. It's on there. We can close the computer and everything will be just fine. It's this one. Yep, it's this one. And that's all it is. And all the information can be found here. Now we'll have to add all the elements, the various elements. I better do this in the next tutorial.